Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be installing a Boss doubled in head unit as well as a backup camera, two SCAR Audio 4 inch speakers, and two SCAR Audio 6x9 inch speakers. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now that we've removed the stereo that was in the truck, it's time to start putting together a wiring harness for the new stereo. So we ran into a bit of a problem while installing the aftermarket stereo. What we thought was a doubled in enclosure for the stereo turned out to be a little bit bigger in both width and height for some reason because Mazda did not make it a standard size. So what we had to do was we had to use the adapter plate that was used already for the single bin unit that was previously there. Now, I'm not sure if everyone's going to have this, so you may have to purchase one and cut it for yourself to fit the gap. However, we were able to do it luckily and make it fit just right with no gaps, no light going through or anything. Now it's time to actually put the aftermarket head unit in the truck. With the head unit in the truck, it's time to install both the microphone and the backup camera. So this here is our backup camera. It is a fairly simple unit. Uh, it has these two holes on each side just to go behind the license plate and then it's got two cables, one for power, one for video output. And then we're gonna use this wire it's gonna go underneath the shift boot here, down underneath here, underneath the truck, and then go all the way to the back and then connect to the camera at the back license plate. So as you can see, the camera's hooked up. It's nothing crazy, it's not high quality or anything. However, it's gonna be good enough to park. It's, and, and that's really all it's meant to do. Uh, so you can see that we have the wire running down here and then it's basically just zip tied along the right hand side of the frame all the way back to the plugs and then to the camera behind the license plate. So yeah, that's it for that. Now that all that's done, we can start putting in the speakers, starting with the two 4-inch speakers underneath the dash. Before that, however, I want to show you how the speakers sound as is.
24 inch front speakers are in and it sounds a lot better. Before you couldn't actually hear really any sound coming from the front and now you can actually tell that there are speakers in the front. And I'm wondering if the fact that the speakers are so visibly destroyed is a part of that and one of them was even water damaged a little bit I believe due to it being directly below the vent. Um, but yeah, here's what it sounds like now. And that sounds a lot better than before. You can go back to before to see what it sounded like, but it's, it's a huge improvement already. But now it's time for the hard part. Now we have to take out a lot of the back interior and then we have to cut up some panels to be able to mount the 6x9 speakers. So I took off these two panels here for installing the speakers, right? However, a lot of people said that you could just uh, take this panel off and then that'd be fine. However, I ended up not being able to do that. So I had to take the whole thing off. Um, and in this panel here, you're gonna have four screws back along here, two back here, like one in the middle and then one on the far right, which you can see over here, over here, and two back there on this side. And then everything's gonna kinda clip in on the panels other than that. Oh, you're also gonna have a thing here, a thing here, and then, I don't know how well little it's showing, but down there, those are gonna be plastic screws and clips. And then uh, for taking out the window, you're gonna have to uh, take this and this off and you can see behind those there's a screw that you need to take out and that's gonna allow the window to come free from what's securing it and also there's a little piece of plastic that will stop the top panel from coming off if you don't take that screw out and I'm not sure if you have to but I also removed I don't know what this is called but this panel here because I didn't want to risk having to pull this out and causing myself more difficulties and then you're gonna have like i think it's seven bolts holding this in and then you're free to go you're also gonna have a screw beneath here and also beneath over here and you can see the place where those go up here 
And those are just some screws with some plastic covers on them. You're also gonna have two screws that will pop out from behind here. And then there's also gonna be a bolt beneath this trim piece here for the seat belt. Now that all of the speakers are in, I can show you how it sounds. So now you know how it sounds with all of the speakers in, the head unit in. Sounds much better than before. It, I mean, being able to play songs on Bluetooth is gonna be such a huge up in convenience compared to having to use the radio. One thing that I wanna mention is that the speakers that I used, we had to cut the speaker grill in the rear in order to fit them. So I would recommend using one that doesn't have the mid and the tweeter poke out nearly as much. I'll leave a link to some alternatives in the comments if you wanna use those instead because I want to make it as easy for you guys to replicate this as possible and not have to grind down your speaker grills just to make it fit. So, with all that being said, that's it. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.